What's going on in Only Sports back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the newest and the latest news regarding the New York Giants. And those are the two cuts that they have made, the first two cuts um, that we have made in this offseason. Of course, Joe Shane and Brian Dayball um, are at the Combine right now. And I guess they got together and, you know, they looked at a couple of players and they decided to cut ties with them. Both players, though, um, seem to not have any... Um, you know, bad blood with the team and the organization, which is good. So it's a very friendly uh, cut, and, um, you know, that is what it is. And those two players are Cal Rudolph and Devontae Booker. Both guys um, have been uh, cut by the New York Giants, and between the two cuts, that saves the Giants $7.1 million. So that is, you know, good start in the right direction. These are the two guys that I knew would be cut. Um, if you you know, saw my video on who I think the New York Giants could and will cut. Um, that video had both these two names um, in in uh, in that video. So uh, you know, that's what the Giants end up ultimately ended up doing, and um, that's that. But we're gonna start off with talking about Cal Rudolph. He was brought in uh, by Dave Gettleman. Uh, it was a two-year deal with the ability to get out after one year, and the Giants did that. Um, they saved five million dollars with him. Um, this was pretty obvious, and now the Giants, you know, I, I have a feeling I'm more than likely going to cut Caden Smith, and that would leave you with no tight ends on the roster. So I think the Giants draft one for sure tight end. They for sure draft one tight end, maybe even two, um, but I don't I don't think they will draft two. I think they sign two, um, one decent guy and, and one guy just for depth. Um, but let's take a look at what Kyle Rudolph had to say uh, in a tweet um, this morning. Giants fans, thanks for taking me and my family in this past year. Certainly not the year any of us expected, but a year we will never forget. We're appreciative of the Mara and Tish families for giving us the opportunity to be a Giant. Thanks to everyone in the building who took in and helped this old guy who needed to relearn everything about a new organization. Finally, my teammates. In my 11 years in this league, I'm not sure I've been around a closer group of guys. We may not have got the results we deserved, but that didn't keep us from going to work together every day looking forward to what's next Kyle Rudolph isn't retiring a lot of people thought maybe he would retire but he is a free agent and will more than likely sign with another team he's still a you know, decent tight end um, so we'll see what ends up happening there um, it could be interesting um, but the Giants ultimately I think they had to save this five million dollars they, they eat a little bit of dead cap space but Ultimately, this had to be done. I think Joe Shane and Brian Dayball knew that coming in, and, and that's ultimately what they ended up doing. So, Kyle Rudolph was the first cut um, on the New York Giants. And the next one, of course, was Devontae Booker, um, who signed a contract with the Giants um, last season. Dave Gettleman, of course, was the one who signed the contract. He was tied um, with Saquon Barkley for exactly 593 rushing yards this season. So, they were tied for the Giants' lead. Um, so pretty cool there. Um, this, uh, you know, this cu cutting Devontae Booker saves $2.1 million in cap space. So that's between the two players, $7.1 million, um, which turns the Giants just to just $5 million under the cap. So that's good um, right now. That's pretty good. Um, the Giants are able to get rid of these guys um, and, and move closer um, to, you know, where we, had, where we have to be. Of course, we got to get close to that. Uh, number that Sh Shane was talking about that forty million dollar number here's already seven over seven million, um, so it's good that we have already uh, cut ties with a couple players. Expect more today, and if there are, expect a video. Um, you know, maybe even two, depending on how they come out. I'll probably have one. You know, closer to the end of the day, if stuff happens, um, I'll have a kind of a re regroup um, or sorry recap. Um, but uh, yeah, so. You know, for the Giants, these are the two cuts to this point. Um, of course, these are two guys that Dave Gilman signed, and they just, unfortunately, they didn't pan out. Um, and now the Giants are going to have to continue to make some cuts. We'll see what they uh, ultimately end up doing. But just some names off the top of my head, Riley Dixon, Shepard. Um, you know, those are obvious ones uh, that I think could happen very soon. Caden Smith's a guy who they can cut and save $2.54 million, so... You know, that would obviously make some sense there, but we'll see what the Giants ultimately end up doing. They're currently at the Combine right now, so um, we'll see We'll see what they do. Um, it's, it's an interesting time right now. 
um, interesting time of year right now. So it's definitely uh, it's definitely something to look out for. There's going to be a ton of content coming through for the New York Giants as we get closer to um, the draft uh, have, and, and free agency. You're going to have tons of, tons of content as we get closer um, to the big parts of this offseason. I'm super excited as a fan. And you guys let me know down below in the comment section your thoughts on these two cuts. I think they were ones that had to be done, and they ultimately were done. Um, so good job by Joe Shane and Brian Dayball. Um, and we'll see what else is in store for the New York Giants. But like I said, leave a comment down below your thoughts on these cuts. And as always, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We'll see you guys on the next video. Let's go Giants.